Hello and welcome to the Tea Cozy Folk vlog. I'm Susie Cowper and I'm the knitting pattern designer at Tea Cozy Folk and every month I'm going to do a little vlog and it's going to be a little chit chat about news and knitting things and what I've been up to and what I'm going to get up to. So I hope you'll join me every month. I want to share with you these new knitting needles that I bought. Now, I want to share them with you because I was so excited when they turned up. I needed a new pair of five millimeter knitting needles that were longer than the current pair I've got because I was working on a bigger project for Simply Knitting. And, um, and of course, all my knitting needles are quite short because when you make things for tea cozies, there are always little things that you're knitting. So I ordered these new knitting needles and they're nice wooden ones and they came from eBay. And I'll put the link below. But they're made of Indian walnut. And um, why I really like them is, is because when they turned up, they just look so Harry Potter, don't they? Look at that. Oh, and so the ends in. Wouldn't that be a magic? That'd be amazing. So I just wanted to share them with you because they're so lovely, look. Lovely knitting needles. Small things give me pleasure. I wanted to share with you something that I've already finished knitting. This is my Diwali Tea Cozy and it's um, Fair Isle and Intarsia and it's fully lined. Um, the pattern will be coming soon on Tea Cozy Folk. But it's really cute Ooh, because it's got a little light up candle. Do you use a battery operated one otherwise you'll burn your Tea Cozy down and probably your house too. But look, it's so cute. It's so nice. Another tea cozy that I've recently finished knitting is Medusa. Look, she's my little Halloween tea cozy. Look, she's a babe really, isn't she? She's very busty. But um, yeah, I wanted to do Medusa. And, and I loved that film Clash of the Titans when I was a kid. And it was just so scary. Medusa was so scary. If she looks at you, she'll turn you to stone. Woo! So I know, I've given her spooky eyes. She's ready to turn you to stone. But she's beautiful with all the snakes. She's wonderful. Again, the pattern will be coming on Tea Cozy Folk this week. This is the Tea Cozy I'm working on at the moment. I think she's going to be called Relaxing in the Bath because it's a lady and she's in the bath. Look, it's one of the old fashioned type roll top baths with the old taps and the little hand sticking out the water and her foot over there popping out the water. She's got a little hat on, it's not a hair washing day today. And she's got a bottle of bubble bath and all the top is covered in bubbles and it's knitted in this beautiful yarn, Baby Twinkle. And it's so nice because it makes the bubbles look iridescent. It's lovely, just a bit of sparkle. We all love a bit of sparkle. Anyway, so I'm still creating this one and I'm test knitting it at the moment. So to be ready soon. The project I'm starting tomorrow is a cafetiere cosy. I've not done one of these before, so it's all a bit new. It doesn't go on like a tea cosy does because you still need access <laughs> to the plunger at the top. <laughs> and I've got to keep clear of this little spout. It doesn't come out like it does on a teapot. And also the handle is a bit different. I'm thinking it kind of wraps around with buttons at the back, either buttonholes or little loops. So that's what I'm doing. The lady who asked me to do it, asked me if I would design and make a snowman tea cozy. No, snowman cafetiere cozy. I've got to get used to that. So that's my next project. I'm gonna start it tomorrow and it'll be exciting. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for fun because you have to have a craft project for fun, don't you? And I'm making this little at the bar shrug. And it's for a little girl. And it's just to keep her little arms and shoulders warm. So um, it does say that I'm supposed to use um, red heart yarn, but I've got this yarn. Look at this. It's really nice. Look. It's all velvety and really soft and nice. So this is how far I've got. I've done the back and fronts are done together, and now I'm on the sleeve. It did say to do the sleeve going backwards and forwards but I've been a bit naughty and changed it. So I've gone round and round, so I won't have to do a seam up at the end. But there it is. It's looking nice and it's nice and soft, it's cuddly. It'd be nice for a little girl. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, here's the yarn, look. Baby velvet. 
And on the back is a free pattern to make a blanket. So that's really cool. I'll put a link of what the yarn is and where to get it at the bottom. Another thing that I want to do for fun is the Winterberry Cow by Cider. Um, it starts on the 20th of October, so it's not started yet, and it's um, to make a blanket. And it's, they've done it in all nice colours, wintry, berry colours, but I shall use what I've got to hand. So I thought I'd make a blanket, but I don't need another blanket. I just want to have the fun of joining in the cow. And then I'm gonna donate my blanket to the Swindon Big Knit at the Orbital. It's a little group that I'm part of, and um, they're a charity group and they make blankets and hats and little bits of clothing for the homeless and the vulnerable. So I thought that would be a really nice thing to donate the blanket. And if you wanted to make a blanket and donate it to them, I'm sure they would absolutely love it. So I'll put a link to their Facebook page down below. So that's it. That's all the news and all that I've been up to. And, um, and it's been really lovely doing this little vlog. So hopefully we'll see you next time. And if you have enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.